Hello, we are the SpaceX fans and welcome to the SpaceX Show, the place where you can stay up to date with everything SpaceX. Today's episode will be looking at what's been happening around the company recently. We have some info on the Starlink 5 engine investigation, mixture of information about the effects of COVID-19 on SpaceX and a bit of Crew Dragon, so let's take a look. First up, let's talk about Starlink. A little while back, SpaceX applied a special layer of coating to some Starlink satellites that reduces the amount of light they reflect. This was to help with the issue that Starlink was obscuring the night sky for astronomers and SpaceX wanted to do everything they could to alleviate this. Someone called Dr. Marco managed to capture three images of Starlink satellites flying across the sky and it's looking pretty good. That middle satellite which has the coating applied is looking much fainter. As you all know, last week, the Starlink 5 mission commenced with a Falcon 9 booster B1048.5 lifting off from Pad 39A. However, during ascent, the booster experienced an engine failure which didn't affect orbital insertion but did affect the landing. Obviously, with NASA expecting to launch astronauts soon aboard capsules strapped to Falcon 9 boosters, this failure is of interest to them. Apparently, NASA will be joining in on an ongoing investigation into the engine failure where representatives from the commercial crew program will participate. According to this article from spacenews.com, as part of the commercial crew program, SpaceX is required to make available to NASA all data and resulting reports. Next, we're going to have a look at SpaceX's next launch. It was supposed to be Sayacom 1B, but will now probably be another Starlink mission. Here is a report posted by Argentina's National Commission for Space Activities, CONA, where they said in order to save resources for the pandemic, they're postponing activities on satellite preparation. According to Michael Baylor, other launches will proceed as planned, however this is subject to change at any time. It's no doubt a tough time for all businesses at the moment. The company is already starting to feel the effects of the situation, as it turns out that SpaceX has had to quarantine at least 12 of its workers. This is because two people at the Hawthorne factory, an employee and a medic, both tested positive for COVID-19. However, according to this article, aerospace and defence companies such as SpaceX are classed as critical infrastructure, meaning their Hawthorne headquarters needs to stay open. Apparently though, the company has been doing a good job at protecting their employees by making hand sanitizer internally and also distributing protective equipment. In other news, an application by SpaceX to the FCC in February 2019 has been approved recently. Apparently, the FCC approval is for a blanket license for the operation of up to 1 million fixed Earth stations that will communicate with Starlink, which Musk previously called a UFO on a stick. Let's move on to Crew Dragon. Here is a tweet from Elon Musk in response to another tweet asking if crewed missions will always use a new Falcon 9 booster, to which he responded, yes. You have to remember that SpaceX has only been landing boosters successfully for 4 years, 3 months and 5 days. Here is the first ever landing video, I had to include it because I just love it. There's unfortunately been some bad news regarding Crew Dragon, as recently a test article was destroyed when a test went wrong. Apparently, a SpaceX spokesperson said that during a planned parachute drop test, the capsule became unstable. Therefore, out of an abundance of caution and to protect the helicopter crew, they pulled the emergency release. Then, due to the capsule not being in the target conditions, the parachutes were not armed, leading to them not deploying and consequently the vehicle being destroyed. So it's not too bad, but losing a test article I'm sure is not ideal. However, I believe that SpaceX has two or three more test vehicles. Here are some great shots from Teresa Cross showing one of those test articles in port recently. Apparently, NASA are requiring SpaceX to complete a certain number of parachute tests before the Demo-2 mission goes ahead. Obviously, this was one of those tests, and so this could potentially result in some further delays of the Crew Dragon's first crewed mission. Finally, before finishing up this episode, let's take a brief look at what has been happening at the former Starship Mark II construction site in Florida. This is not a Starship related point, but it appears that an octograbber being constructed in the big white building as you can see here is almost complete. This octograbber is for Just Read the Instructions that was a drone ship for the West Coast Recoveries, but was recently brought to Florida to help with East Coast operations. That's it for this episode of the SpaceX Show. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. If you want to stay updated with SpaceX info, make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified when I upload. Thanks for watching and have a great day.